I'm here to talk a little bit about our griddle. We have a 17 inch griddle and uh, we took it on our camping trip last weekend. We cooked filet mignon steaks on our griddle and I want to talk to you a little bit of how I prepared those. We bought a grass-fed beef, a medium cut, about three quarters of an inch thick filet. I treated those uh, filets with a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder and uh, some olive oil and let it set a couple hours on a plate to be able to marinate. So when we started the griddle, the, we got it good and hot and we placed butter pads on the griddle, placed the steak on top, put a butter pad on top, turned it and seared the, the, the first side of it. After turning those and they're, they're very well seared, we were able to go ahead and, and look at the, the doneness of the steak on the griddle and be able to see pretty clear where we were wanting to have like a medium rare to medium type steak. We found that we had a couple of hot spots and as we learn this grill more, we'll be able to optimize those. I'm watching this how it turns color. So I know when I'm gonna turn it, so I'm on a medium rare. We're gonna have with the steak, Brussels sprouts, and a salad, a chopped salad, and uh, our first attempt at French bread toasted on the grill. Check this one. Not what I want to get. Then, after the steaks got mostly finished up, we brought the Brussels sprouts out. Brussels sprouts were cut in half. They were cooked in the juice of the filet mignon and a little butter. Uh, one of the challenges we had was the Brussels sprouts being cut in half were still different sizes. So we got some that were soft and they were good and toasted and that some were a few al dente, al dente. And that was great because that was very tasty. One of the best things about this, not only the quality of the food and how nice it looks and how easy it is, is we're cooking outside. We're not getting our, our facility, our, our, our camper dirty inside and having all that mess. And the other thing that's so nice is to after we're finished up and we are ready to clean up, to be able to clean that griddle. All you have to do is heat it up real hot, take your good stiff scraper and a bottle of water and repeatedly hit that with water in the scraper. And about the third time I like to wipe it down with a paper towel, do another water uh, bath, then I wipe it down with a paper towel again and you're in good shape. If you've got any experience with this that would help me, or if you have any suggestions for a future piece on this, let me know. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching this, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey, it's Callie, and I'm doing my best to look super cute so I get a piece of that steak that Peacock griddled on the Blackstone griddle. Why don't you guys come back for future episodes of Griddle Good Stuff with Peepaw? We love sharing things that we're cooking with you. Stay safe and strong, guys, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.